What do you sell the most in Starseed Cafe? Water contains four different phases. Well, it's usually taught as three phases in school. Do you know those three phases? I was impressed by the fact it helps you to analyse the root cause by its code. For example, you can add the frequencies of love and appreciation, or you can add the opposite to neutralise it. It's 2021, I feel like it would be perfect if you can draw one for everyone. Okay, let's start this special spring event of the Tasting Adult Water Game. Yay! Hello, it's Starts' channel. I'm Yoshi. Hello, I am Akiko. Nice to see you all. Okay, so now it's spring and a new season of New Star in Japan. We have a special plan today. I'm filming today from Starjit Cafe run by members of our online community. Oh, say hello everybody, these are my staff. Okay, I'm going to introduce you a little bit about the cafe. It's located at a spectacular place in Roppongi, Tokyo, right beside the National Arts Center, Tokyo. The inside is like this. We've got stars hanging from the ceiling, projecting some images on the floor and so on. It's such a cozy and stylish space. Yes, that's how the cafe looks like. And Akiko, have yes. you ever visited this cafe? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> no, you haven't got a chance, have you? Unfortunately not. The cafe opened in February of 2020. Yes, because of the COVID-19, unfortunately our plan to have Akiko over hasn't happened yet. Oh, not yet. But still, you have been participating in various online events with us. <clears throat> right, I've been seeing you online. Now, the theme today is... Mm -hmm. Well, we have various menus at the cafe. And one of the items on our menu, which stands out from others... <laughs> Unusual menu. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to talk about that many today. We have wave motion water, which is called Hado water. Mm, yes, Hado water. And I don't think you have had a try before, Akiko. No, I've never tried it before. I'd love to see it, how is it like, but unfortunately can't travel at the moment. Yes. And today, I would like to introduce them as a game on this special event to everybody. Wow, yes. Before playing the game, can I ask Akiko if you can believe that you can transfer information to water? Believe, yes, of course, yes. Who was it? I know someone wrote a book about it. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, it was something like, if you say stupid to the water, it forms crystalline structure into a form of stupid. It also mm. has a version of lovely too. Yeah, I brought the book and here it is. Ah, it's by yes. Mr. Emoto, famous with water crystalline structure. Oh, yes, I know. He's very famous. I bet a lot of people are aware of him. Yeah, I agree. And he became famous about 30 years ago. So this is the crystalline structure of... Thank you. Mmm... So which one is which? Oh, the pretty one is the thank you version. The messy one is the stupid one. <laughs> stupid sounds funny. Well, this theory was sensational that it spread it all over the world 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. Well, it's amazing. But on the other hand, it also started an argument whether it is scientifically proven or not and had a lot of criticism. Mm. And then... After various things happened, the interesting thing is that it is now gradually being proven scientifically recently. What? And I've been watching it closely as I am wave motion Hado Geek. Wow. So water contains four different phases. Well, 
It's usually taught as three phases in school. Do you know those three phases? Do you have any idea? I have no clue about the phases you're oh, yeah. talking about. Well, of course, that's kind of important. Let's say one of the phases is solid form like ice cube. Mm -hmm. The other one is solid form. The last one is vapor form. And those three phases are what we were taught in school. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's a doctor who studies about another phase. Mm. So this doctor is called Dr. Gerald Pollack and he's been trying to prove about this fourth phase, which is beyond solid, liquid and also vapor form. And he did successfully proven it scientifically. Mm. So what this doctor is saying is that there is a phase which has the potential to hold memories of information. Mm. Until now, this theory was only used in small area, like um, homeopathy, if you know about it. Mm -hmm. Well, those areas have been researched more in Europe, perhaps. Was it homeopathy? Uh, yes, homeopathy and also um, flower essence as well. Flower essence, right. Yes, so those were studied for a long time in Europe and that's probably their traditional way of treating people and transferring information to the remedy and flower essence was not a big deal back then. But scientific point of view, Mr. Emoto's idea was nothing but suspicious and taken as nonsense for 30 years. Ah, oh, I see. Now it's finally started to be proven by science. Well, then, if there is the fourth phase in water that holds yes. memories, well, then finally, it is not an utter nonsense, but we understand it's possible to transfer the thank you, hazard, or the frequency to the water. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And originally, oh, I see you're right, yes. Yes, so originally, Mr. Emoto, he studied Hado about mm. a wave motion and he tried to prove it and did the crystalline structure study mm. now so those kinds of studies are making progress and now i have added his had a wave motion water to our menu mm. yes i know you have it on the menu Yes, yes. And I would like you to tell me what kind of wave motion water you're interested in. Well, let me see what we have here. Can you show me on the screen? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, so I can see. Oh, wow. There are a lot of them. Yes, we prepared quite a few of them. Let me show what we got. The first one is healing. Oh yeah, it says healing on that. Had a water healing. Yep, healing. And we also got beauty. Ooh, beauty. That sounds good to me. <laughs> That's a good one. And this one is to do with money. It's gold. <laughs> it's gold. That's easy to understand. And this one is relationships. Mm, wow, this is fun. It really is. This one is slim. Those of you who want to slim down, I also have protect. Mm. And I have star seed. Here it is. What's going on? Star seed. This is fun. This is awakening. Awakening too. Well, then I'm sure you want to know what kind of water these are. Can you tell me which one you're interested in the most, so I can explain? Uh, okay, I am interested in starseed water the most, but oh, maybe we can leave it to the end. Okay, we can do it later. How about gold? Money? Yes, gold. We often hear how to increase the fortune of wealth and lacking money by using this item and such. 
Yeah, we hear that often, but I'm not keen on the idea at all, and I don't think I can believe in it. <laughs> I don't really get the ideas like if you use a particular kinds of wallet, you get fortune, and etc. I feel like I want to ask what their grounds are for saying it. Having said that, you could ask about the same question to this had a water, but I'm going to explain it briefly today about what kind of frequency those waters contain. It's quite interesting. For example, this gold is for lack in money, which releases economic stress. And that's what's contained in this bottle of water called gold. So the stressing about the economic situation will trap you in a negative loop deeper and deeper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That can be the cause of having less lack of money. Oh, I see. It also contains release of a pang of conscience. Oh, in this gold bottle? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's surprising. I personally feel like many people feel a pang of conscience as soon as they start thinking of earning more money. Mm. And it also contains a code of chemical elements for gold. Mm. Oh, by the way, some people might think what actually is a code? Yes. Have you ever heard everything in life is vibration, Akiko? Yeah, I understand. I thought the code is to do with vibrational frequency and viewers would probably know it too. Yeah, it's enough to get the general idea for everyone as long as it's fun, just like playing games today. Everything in life is a vibration. Yes, everything in life is vibration. For, for example, a stone has its own vibrational frequency to form as a material called stone. Mm -hmm. Our feelings are the same. There are lighter feelings and heavier feelings, and their frequencies are different. Those frequencies have their own code to each one of them, that so-called code that I've been using. Ah, okay, so it is equal to frequencies. Yes, those frequencies are transferred into the water in bottle. Wow, this is interesting. It really is. It also contains vibration to increase luck in work, which includes a code for completing businesses. Well, those people who's efficient in their businesses, I'm probably one of those people. But anyway, I have these equipments here, and which cost about 10 million yen in total, because we have several of them. And one of the function of the machine is to measure frequency in the room. So we adjust the frequency and cleanse, cleanse the space every time. Mm -hmm, you are adjusting the frequency. Yeah, so we can keep it neutralized. But different people's different feelings stick on random st spots in the space. And you can see them by using the machine. So for example, when I started this cafe, I often got a code of completing business whilst I was here. I get that code in my office too. Mm. Or you could say you get this code when you're trying to complete your business and working on it consciously. Mm. So that's why I think this code affects lack of money to complete what you want to achieve in business. Mm. The disgold water removes negative energy and adds on positive energy, and it has a mixture of both to lift up your luck and money, and that's what this gold water is about. So, overall, this water mm. is to boost up your luck and money. Oh, I see. So, how many different kinds of frequencies are contained in a bottle, for example, in the gold water? Um, I think it's about 18 kinds, but I can only introduce some of them as I have some restrictions. Oh, okay. Is it a trade secret? <laughs> well, how do I say there are 
pros and cons for this topic. Oh, I see. Yeah, it can be quite complicated in different ways. So I am going to only introduce some of the cows. Aha, uh -huh, yes, I understand. Yeah, okay, do you have any other ones you would like to know? I would think people would be interested in beauty, I assume. Ah, beauty, yes. Yeah, beauty mm -hmm, okay. and appearance is interesting. Yeah, so beauty so what's is... in it? Okay, let's see what's in beauty. So this water enhanced the inner beauty that women originally carry in nature, such as kindness and sparkle within. Well, I'm not really allowed to announce its effects, but I can tell you some of the codes, okay? Well, a lot of them relate to the womb. Wow, that sounds amazing. Well, by the way, it's not that I decided which codes to use in each bottle. Oh yeah? Those combinations have been studied by leading experts. It is based on a long history of study and they blend the codes together and make it into a combination. Mm. But they prepared those combinations especially for this cafe though. So they are the original combination. Oh, so their cafe is original. Uh -huh. As long as I can see, it seems beauty water contains about 20 or perhaps 30 of those codes. I guess it makes sense that woman relates to beauty. Yeah, but I have to say this water isn't medical products or to treat you, so I need to be careful not to mislead people. Yeah, so it's just... Um, yeah, it's for fun, isn't it? Yes, yes, it's for fun rather than to expect its effect. No, not for a treating effect. No, it's not like that. So... This water covers a feminine energy area. Oh, it contains feminine energy. That's great. Also, the moon. I don't know why, but it has moon energy. <laughs> this is fascinating. Yeah, it's interesting. And the number is interesting as well. The code of the moon is 33030. Those codes are indicated by five digit numbers when you use the machine which are in perfect neutral position the perfect number of the very center of the universe is 55555 five, 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 five. Mm. and this five digit numerical code is based on belief of kazutama of ancient shintoism in japan those frequencies are calculated based on a cosmic diagram of mandala which is divided into 9 times 9 grids. If you add them all vertically and horizontally, the sum would be 369, Miroku. You get 369 by adding diagonally too. And that's briefly how they get the numbers. Mm. And there is this person who tried to match the frequencies and numbers. Mm. It's truly a divine work because the total number of the codes are about a hundred thousand and he adjusted each one of them spending decades on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's how they decode those numbers. Wow, decoding, that's how they make it. It's not like it's a recent idea, but it's got a long, deep history behind it. It's impressive. How about slim one? Mm, okay, healing. Okay, healing. Yeah. Oh, did you say slim? We've just done beauty, though. Yeah, we did beauty. But I am actually quite interested in slim. I'm starting to understand how deep it is. It's about the roots of the issues. Oh. Yes, yeah, so uh, I once was selling supplements in the past about 20 some years ago and that is why I am actually aware of pharmaceutical affairs laws too. I know all these details as well and the products from West tend to focus on the symptoms that appear on the surface. 
Mm-hmm, just what's happening outside, yes. Yeah, but instead in this world of Hado, the symptoms appearing on the surface are not the root. And what causes it is your feeling. The frequency of the feeling appears in reality on the surface as symptoms. Then what is feeling? It's the stereotype and fixed ideas you have. Perhaps you can call them blockages if you say it negatively. Yeah. So it works as those fixed ideas we got, like we need to do this or need to be like this, which can be called negative feelings, I guess. And those feelings appear on the surface and Hado helps to resolve those issues. Mm. Now let me explain what those frequencies do to you. For example, you can add the frequencies of love and appreciation just simply by themselves. Or in the other hand, you can also add the opposite to neutralize it. Mm. Am I being too maniac this time? Am, am I doing okay? Of course, it is an interesting topic. It's not simply about if it's hard or water or not. People have desire to be rich on the surface. But the code indicate the root cause and issues people have. Why you want to be rich and it's impressive what those codes are telling us. And I was strongly moved. I'm pretty sure it's the same for viewers and what's amazing is this area has been deeply studied. Mm. Well, let's say, for example, there is a study of what happens when someone expresses certain feelings to a person who carries fear and anxiety. Yeah. So what if someone expresses anger towards this person? Anger and anxiety are both negative feelings and there is a correlation between them. Mm. So if this person shows anger, then this person feels anxious. Hmm. So it's a paradox. Do you remember we talked about how fear draws anger out? Mm -hmm. Those feelings are the negative combo. Uh, you look very yellow, Yoshi. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Okay, okay. Let's just keep on going. So, in order to neutralize the feeling of anger, use the opposite feelings. Hmm, what you use for fear is a kindness, so they cancel each other and be neutral. Hmm, so they neutralize each other. Hmm. Yes, and for anger, courage is a good match. Courage is rather more an action though. Hmm. I don't know if it clicks everyone, but anyway, they cancel each other from the point of view of frequency. Hmm. Yes, that's how it works. There's yin and yang for frequencies, and if you match them well, they cancel each other and be neutral. Or you could say be back to neutral. Mmm, that's deep. Very deep. Yeah, it's deep. Like it, it's interesting. Okay, back to Slim. Yeah, Slim. Let's talk about Slim. Slim has a straightforward code of obesity. <laughs> Yeah, it means to bring obesity back to neutral by this code. What else? It contains fat cells. Mm, that's interesting. It contains a code for fat cell. Mm. The rest are very precise. A lot of them are pharmaceutical related, but there's one called overeating. Ah, that's what they put it in. I see. Now you start seeing some sort of reason for obesity. Overeating can be one of the reasons. Mm, yes, you're right. Mm, there are a wide selection of codes. I also see something like sympathetic nerve on the list. Um, wow, how fascinating. Yeah. Okay, did we just do healing water? No, we haven't done it yet. We've done slim, gold and beauty. Hmm, healing, yeah. 
The theme for healing water is to heal and balance up the body and mind. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh, I found it. Healing sounds good. What was interesting about this water is that it contains a code of thank you. Thank you code. Thank you code is it contained. Mm, all about thank you, isn't it? It also contains a love you code. A love you code. <laughs> and also please forgive me code. Oh, that's that. What was it? Ho oponopo? Yeah, actually, ho oponopono code is included as well. Oh, is it? And actually has healing effects. Yes, it also contains I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry is contained in healing water. Past lives and karma as well. Those kinds of codes have been protected at healing water. Oh, wow. How fascinating. Yes, the Hado codes of great love and healing of oneself are contained. Mm, I see. That was good and very, very interesting. Okay, so now, oh, I would like to show you the last one. I got relationship Hado water here. I personally find it interesting about this water. Yes, I'm interested in it, since many people have issues with relationships. Perhaps we can find a clue of the root. What kind of codes are contained? Yes, I agree. Love, love is the one of it, but it seems they have different kinds of frequency codes for love. Love, frequency of love. Frequency of love sounds like a thing. <laughs> so there are various kinds of love. Yeah, I get it. Those various loves are... Uh, Self-love. Self-love is the first one. Mm -hmm. I want everybody to think what kind of love there are. Let's think. So the first one is self-love. Uh, the next one is human love. Mm -hmm. And now it's family love. And then, conjugal love. Mm, mm -hmm. And so on. There are many different loves. Mm. How about this? What do you think, Akiko? Mm, it makes sense. Like human love. It feels like love is expanding, so that following action will be different from family love, which you will focus on a smaller community so that your point of view and its frequency is definitely different from human love which you look with wider view they are the same love but i feel like they have different maybe i can say thickness of frequency mm. it is different when you focus on self-love that goes towards the inside of yourself and now you said that i noticed the difference mm, yes i agree just by reading these I can learn a lot from it. <laughs> Learning. You've learned. Yeah, that's how I was looking at it. There are so many kinds. Wow. Yes, yes. Well, there's a lot to do. Yes, yeah, so it smooths out the relationships. Well, for the last one, let's look at starseed water, shall we? Yes. Yeah, we made starseed water here. Oh, so lots of different love are contained in relationship water. Oh yeah, lots of love and the rest are many different ones, but I'm not too sure if I can say it. Well, as long as we get the idea of its background. Oh, like group of friends. Uh, friends. Yeah, a group of friends include. Yeah, a group of friends for relationships. Yeah, I see. And I see increasing lack of marriage. How about that? <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, indeed. I want them all. I quite like to have all the codes. Mm, yes, yes, I know. Wow. Okay, let's move on to starseed water. I wonder what kind of codes are contained in it. Did you come up with the codes for it? So there is this code for the universe, which has been studied by experts originally. Wow. Well, according to them, each star has its own frequency. Mm. For example, Orion, Sirius, Sun, Earth, and so on. They all have different frequencies. Oh. So it contains frequencies which help you to resonate with the planets, the universe, stars, and the Earth. 
Mm, I see it resonate. Mm, wow. Mm. The universe, love, and human. I want to drink starseed water. I'm too far, but I want to drink it. Of course, you do. Okay, we'll play some games from now on. Okay, just because it's a special opportunity today, I have all the water lined up here. Ta da! Now I am going to drink them and guess which water is which. Oh, yay, you're an expert already. Yeah, hmm. I don't know what will happen if I get it right, but anyways, I will try to answer them all. <laughs> right, I have no idea what we're going to do first. Um, I guess I should probably drink one by one. Let's turn the camera around. Why don't you sit over there, Yoshi? Okay, I'm going to move over there. Yeah, that'll do. Should we all guess which one is which all together? I'm going to answer too. It would be amazing if anyone can answer it just by looking at it. Yeah, just like, oh, that is the gold one. <laughs> if anyone can read that far, that would be amazing. <laughs> Well, everyone's got good hunch, so maybe they can answer it. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, should I move over there? Okay. Okay, five. Are we going to answer what's in the glasses? Yes, the question is, which glass has which water? Let's see how well I do. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm ready. Not too sure if it's fun for people who are watching. Oh, it's definitely fun for us. So this is like a copy of Japanese TV program. Oh, is that right? For new spring season. Oh, for new season. Yeah, those celebrities guess which wine is which to show if they are true celebrities. Ah, the classy man can tell the taste of Hado water. Okay, now let's start this special event of the tasting Hado water game. Yay! This is getting weirder, but I'm starting. Mm-hmm. I hope this is fun to watch. Let's start from this one. Yeah, it's fun to watch. Oh, I would say this one is relationship water. Mm-hmm. And now this one. This is beauty. Ah, uh, this is gold. This one is healing. And? Ah, uh, this is starseed. I think. Let's see if I answered them correctly or not. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. The answers are written here. I'm going to open it. What's this one? What was my answer? Oh, it was relationship. But then it was... Okay, it was starseed. <laughs> I hope everyone's enjoying this. Okay, what was this one? I said beauty. And was it? It's relationship. <laughs> Okay, now I said this one is gold and it was... Oh, gold, I got it right. You got the gold right. No, it's not fun to get it right, but I did anyway. There's no problem, you should get the right answer. Okay, this one, what did I say? Healing, but it was beauty. I wasn't healing, it's beauty. <laughs> oh, what did I say about this? I said starseed, but it was healing. Okay, that was it. <laughs> you got one right. Yeah, I got one right. <laughs> it is not fun if I get it right. <laughs> that was it. I think gold is my thing since I've been learning all about it for a long time. <laughs> gold. <laughs> yeah, it definitely relates to my profession. So here we are. Thank you. Well, do you think they taste different? Uh, the taste, some people might be able to tell the difference, but to be honest, I have no clue whatsoever. Mm. 
Yeah, some people say they can feel the difference sometimes, but I can't tell the difference at all. Mm -hmm. So, what do you sell the most in Starseed Cafe? Oh, um, hmm. Yeah, what sort of things do people find interesting? The most popular one is gold, and second one is, I think, healing, if I'm correct. Hmm, I think. I see it's gold and healing that people are attracted. So, which one would be the third popular one? Oh, beauty? Do you sell starseed at all? Oh, beauty. <laughs> what about starseed? Starseed is an exceptional one among them all. Ah, mm -hmm. it sounds perfect to people who want to strengthen their spiritual abilities by connecting with stars and all that. Yes, so that was my special game for the new spring season. <laughs> yes, did everyone got it right? People who are watching this video, is it even possible to get it right? I would be amazed if anyone answered it right. Yeah, some people can feel it, so it might be possible. Oh, and there's another fun thing about this cafe I'd like to introduce to you. Um, would you mind getting the oracle card? So on Saturdays, um, yes, yeah, so on Saturdays we have Haddle Day and we offer to measure your frequency with the machine for a couple of minutes for free. And other days we draw one oracle card for people who come to the cafe. Ooh, I want you to draw a card. Oh yeah, shall I try? Yeah, a card of the year. Okay, 2021. Yeah, 2021, I feel like it would be perfect if you can draw one for everybody. Oh really? I have no idea how to do it properly though. Yeah, just take one, shuffle and draw one. There's so much going on on the table. How do I just do this? I'm just going to randomly start, okay? Yes, here we go. Oh, such an auspicious event. Oh, wait, uh, this is the other way around. Am I doing it okay? Never mind, let's just do it. Okay, okay, I feel like this is the one. Here we go. Ta da! Can you see? Let me move it forward. Okay, what is this card? Yeah, what is this? You'll be not for everyone hmm hang about uh you are not for everyone everyone no idea what to do with this uh do you have the book comes oh, yeah. with it yeah sorry can you please look it up <laughs> yeah sorry just a minute please a card of the year yes for this year you are not for everyone. What does that mean? Okay, I'm going to read it for you. Okay, yeah, okay. If you could place this in front of the camera. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, so you're not for everyone. Okay, it says you don't need to have everyone to love you. So love your uniqueness, aim straight to your destination. No matter how hard you try, there will be people who won't like you and at the same time, there will be people who love you with passion. Those people are on your side. You may not get along with everybody, but that's correct. Stick with people who listen to your story. Do not waste your precious time and your talent trying to show who you really are to the people who don't like you. They are not interested in your opinion. Do not try to persuade them to support you. You will waste your time. 
you will get hurt unnecessarily and will take a while to heal the pain. You don't get along with them and they don't get along with you. Be courteous and make sure to greet them and head off straight to where you are aiming for. It is a blessing from heaven to be able to join your hands with your loved ones and walk your path of your life with them. Do not violate the sanctity by rolling down a wrong path. Make sure your compass is always pointing at true north. And this card is also telling you to accept your uniqueness. Love the strange part of yourself. Let's show the world who you really are. You have many sides that are all remarkable. So accept yourself as a whole. Shine your love so that your friends can find you. That was it. Hmm. Oh, that was such a nice message. We did get a nice message. Oh, that was so nice. Mm, that was it's so right. simple. Nice and simple. Okay. So can I ask you to get a message from the universe, please? Okay. From the universe. A message for 2021 from the universe at a new start of spring. I'm ready to receive a message. Uh, keep moving forward without any hesitation. Nothing will block your way. So take a full swing and take action. Move forward. Go big and express yourself fully. If you need to, you are completely free to do anything you desire. So you must make sure to integrate, match your heart, action, things you need to do and have a blast this year. And that's the message I got. It's saying you are free to do anything. So it's saying your heart and everything around you. So make sure to match your heart, your action and daily life. Everything comes out from your inside of your heart. So it's the most important thing to match them all. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, I have an announcement to make that we are going to have Hado Festival in this cafe. Whoa, Hado Festival. Yes, Hado Festival. Of course, people can come to this cafe and have those water or measure frequency and all that. But you may also join us online. When we did it previously, we had so many people came over, but we can also do it remotely. Yes, remotely. When is this happening? Um, it will be around the end of January, but the details will be on description. So please have a look. We are planning to have it every three months. Yeah, if you find it interesting, please join us. Okay, so we took this video from our cafe today and I hope many of you visit us here as we have many events coming up every so often. We also do it online so I hope to see you very soon. Yes, please check yes, the details please. out. And thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Dewa dewa. Dewa dewa. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Dewa Dewa.